often than not, you know, when we get a client or we get a brief or we get a project, like, you know, we like to to think that we're going to have all these assets and we're going to have all these things to work with, but sometimes you got to get scrappy. It's tweaking your brain to do a lot with a little, like, you know, they just might mention this tiny detail about like their history of like, you know, maybe how their business got started. And then you take that and you're like, well, what does that look like as a texture? What does that look like as a color? What does that look like, you know, as a shape? I chose to get a BFA in studio art. So I did painting and photography and sculpture and mixed media, drawing, everything under the sun, really. Even to this day, like I see it come through in my work from, you know, the beginning process to making these like physical brain dump collages where I feel like is a great start for anybody really. It's just about stepping back and listening to the person and what they have to say. They're also going to offer you insight, you know, to things that you never would have thought of in the beginning. The host of our Made in America series, Scott Shigioka, I'm making a website for him. And I've got a really awesome photo that Amber shot. Wondering if there's something that we can do it to give it a little more, a little more razzle dazzle. So this is the original shot. I think it's great. I love his body positioning. And then for the website, the color palette is definitely like the complete opposite of that, right? Like it's bright, it's in your face, it's just, it's everything that Scott embodies as a person, and I, I think he's gonna love it. Yeah, I love all the color in that layout. It's amazing. Um, but this, yeah, this photo is just kind of like, it's a little flat. But I wonder if you change the, like shift the color on his shirt to something that has like a little more saturation and maybe like is like a color harmony to what you're doing. I think that would be pretty cool. What do you guys think of the orange? Yeah, I think that would fit nicely in your color palette. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so sure, so so to the point. Done. I dig the orange. I think the orange might be our might be our winner. Okay, you guys, seriously, thank you so much. I'd love to just hop back on in a few days and show you the finished piece and and see how it turned out. Yeah, awesome. Sounds good. So, my main thing about it that I wanted to convey through the type was this like slalom effect that you get when you're actually free skiing down a mountain and. The issue that I'm running into is, do you think that I could get away with killing the eye in chicks so that it kind of stacks better and it looks a bit more like aesthetically pleasing and it's more balanced? I just like to dive in like feet first. And, you know, a lot of the time for me, I'm just, you know, in my Adobe programs, like whether it's Photoshop or Illustrator, and I'm just option dragging things and making like 80 bazillion different versions of something. All right, you guys, just wanted to show you the finished piece. Make sure I was doing your work justice here. Um, did a little bit of this kind of like background fun manipulation too with it and everything just ended up coming together um, really seamlessly. I'm super excited to show Scott. It looks great. I like how it turned out. The color matches perfectly. All right, you guys, you're awesome. Um, thank you again so much for, for doing this. Like I said, you see what works, you see what doesn't and more often than not, this solution will come from me just like fucking up. Like it'll just be like, oh, okay, that looks cool. And and this little magical art baby is born. Mm -hmm.